a very good morning to one and all in today's class we will study about integrated watershed management and rainwater harvesting a case study content india's water resources watershed development and modeling integrated watershed management water conservation and harvesting and a successful case study so we all know so what is an integrated water resource development and management so it is nothing but the integration of river basin resources both surface water as well as ground water and we have to think of the demands consumptive and non consumptive and supplies facilities from mega to micro system human to all ecosystems and science and technology and engineering with social economic and synergic needs where does the water come from so water comes from new dams ground water under developed demand management water saving increases in efficiency and reduce evaporation water productivity in which in it increases crop per drop trade virtual water and import food limited water resources more demand watershed is a basic scientific unit need for proper planning and management integrated water watershed development approach digital revolution and recent advances in watershed managing and modeling use of computer models and remote sensing and gis watershed modeling steps so first we have to have a formulation calibration and verifi verification and application of watershed modeling watershed model constitutes input function output function transform function flow chart of simple watershed is precipitation interception storage surface storage interflow and groundwater storage so this gives an output of evapotranspiration so surface runoff will also have some evapotranspiration some surface water will be infiltrated and that will enter the groundwater so direct runoff also from channel flow so this is the uh, simplest watershed management model now we'll see the integration of gis as well as remote sensing in integrated water resource management so first we have to acquire the data from remote sensing landsat and indian space research organization so we will collect the topographic map of all the study areas and gis analysis and information are carried out and we have to see the socio economic as well as field data collected from the study area or study demography and management input we have to design so we have to consider the designing period and operation and maintenance of the particular integrated water resource management model also we have to get an concern from the local body and their funds and organization so from that so after collecting all the datas so one is topographical data socio economic or checklist given to the stakeholders and these are considered to give input to the gis model and results will be the integrated water resource management reliable water security enhanced agricultural yield improving living standard of the study area sustainable land use and community concerns jabua watershed a case study from madhya pradesh at an altitude of 380 meters to 580 meter the study area is 1800 square kilometer 
highly undulated sparsely distributed forest cover so it has 55 57% of arable land including cultivable fallow and 18% notified as forest land average rainfall in that area is 750 mm per annum so 20 to 30 events during june and to september months so it is classified as drought prone region moisture deficit during january to may months each year so we have to plan an integrated water resource management by using gas analysis and the remote sensing data thank you